A good number of you are Kaiser patients or employees, and you'll all be happy to know that the coalition of unions that waged a three-day strike, well, they've come to a tentative agreement with management. It involves 85,000 union health care workers in seven states, including Oregon, Washington, and California. Terms of the deal released by the coalition of unions shows that if approved, workers would get a total raise of 21% over the next four years. It also sets a new minimum wage for Kaiser Healthcare workers of 25 bucks an hour in California, $23 an hour elsewhere, reaching those marks within three years. The lowest paid union members, by the way, were making around 18 bucks an hour, so not a bad jump there. The agreement also has language about outsourcing and protections for experienced workers. It also includes a wide variety of ini initiatives to invest in the workforce and also to address the staffing crisis. I had a chance to talk earlier today with one of the many workers who will be impacted by the proposal. Kevin Darden works at Kaiser's Sunnyside Medical Center. He said Kaiser had drifted away from the historic agreement of 1997 that forged the Kaiser Union bond and made it one of the best health care systems in America. We did an in-depth story on the agreement last week. As part of that, we showed how unions were an integral part of founding of Kaiser and its growth over the years, both with union employees and also with union members as patients. Darden has worked at Kaiser for 14 years and said he watched with frustration as the rift grew between workers and management. And I, I think a big a big portion of that is, you know, there's, there's been a lot of cuts to departments. There's been a lot of people that feel that they've been overworked. Uh, there's a lot of people that feel that they're doing, you know, twice or three times more of the work. Uh, we constantly see emails from Kaiser saying, you know, our membership's growing, um, especially here in the Pacific Northwest. But we're not we weren't recruiting the, the employees we needed to meet up with that demand. So that was our biggest concern going into the strike was making sure that Kaiser executives knew, you know, the staffing issue that that is going on when, when members are calling and they can't get an appointment for, you know, four to eight weeks to see a primary care provider. That's a problem for everyone, you know, and we're not just, you know, Kaiser employees. We're also Kaiser members. And so we we feel those effects that it's having that it's having on our pay on our patients. So for us, that was a, a big deal to address. And, and we're happy that we have something tentatively on the table that will help address those issues and be able to provide the care for our members. Yeah, that was going to be my follow up question. Do you feel like this tentative agreement now maybe kind of lowers the heat between the two sides and, and does make you feel like there's going to be a difference? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I think a big thing that we we saw was the last time we got an agreement was in 2019. It was before COVID. So I don't think anybody was expecting, you know, for us to be facing with a, a, a worldwide pandemic. Right. So with that, I, I feel like this is the first step that we were able actually to meet at the table after this pandemic and really solidify uh, an action plan to how to better service our community um, and how to better recruit and retain our employees. And I think all the things that we have on the table now is a major victory to to all union employees here in the Pacific Northwest. The agreement is still tentative, but Kevin thinks that the union members will approve it. If approved, it will cover the next four years.